damn world died. Now they can hear us. Right? Maybe. In theory. Maybe. Maybe. Let's double check. Hey, Caitlin. Caitlin, can you hear us? <coughs> no, you can't. But now you can. Now you can. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin, can you hear us now? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Alright. Test, 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 nice. Alright, hey guys. So, we're gonna try a new game tonight. We're just relaxing on the couch. There's a game called Canarium. It was on sale uh, literally for five bucks. It's been out, I think, maybe a year or two. It's a horror. Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, well, you should be able to now. Maybe not before, but now you should. Can yes. you guys hear us? Says yes. Yeah, she, yeah, now you okay. can. Hopefully. Hey, Megan, what's up, Megan? Anyway, so we're going to check out this game. And I have no idea if it's going to be good or not. It's a story based puzzle horror game. So, let's go ahead and silence this 80s music. Because it is not very scary. And it's going to have its own music. Boom. Now we have to just make sure the sound in game is working. Okay. So how do we make sure it's working? I don't want to start the game and the, the volume's not and working. And have it not work. Exactly. These are the things I should probably do before I start the stream, don't you think? Those would maybe be the things. Hey, these are learning. On the short list of the things. These are learning, growing pains. Experiences. So okay, I would imagine. Can hear us good. Well, they can. But I'd imagine that, let me just restart the game. Think, think. Did you say think, think, or think, um, tank? Think, think, think. Think, think. I know why it's probably not working. Hold on, hold on. No, hopefully it'll work. Let's see. Hi, Roy. Roy, what's up, dude? Gotta break the Oh, oh my god. god. It's like, yeah, the game works now. See, it's just like Blair. Oh, now it's gotta detect the game. Play it cool. There we go, there we go. Perfect, now it's not lagging. Perfect. I so let's sit back and enjoy each other now. Okay. And each other, you know, so I said that. Yeah, I was like, ooh, ooh creepy. Scary music warning. Uh, hey, Google, okay. all lights off. So if you want, I mean, I'll control for now, and we'll work together, and then if you ever want to, like, play, like, control, let me know. I don't know if I trust myself, but okay. We'll, we'll see, so. All right, I mean, I already changed the controls, so new game. All life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. I love the word betwixt. We're off to a great start. Yes. Fuck you from Vietnam. I could probably get rid of this. It's supposed to say Vietnamese. Yeah. starting just right here. So it looks like it might be lagging. Hey, you guys, tell me if it's lagging a bit in your screen. I might need to lower the resolution or something. Looks like it. Yeah, to me it looks like it is, but it might not be. It probably is. To them, but they'll have to tell us. Oh, this is lagging, guys. All right. Here we go. You want to turn the volume at all, or are you good? No, I'm okay. No more can we harbor ourselves safe as it shores for. There are things that cannot be undone. Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm 
exciting. I thought my head was about to explode. I thought this was going to be scary. This device. Its noises are resonating in my mind. Oh no, it is going to be scary. Euro. <laughs> no, I told you it is a horror game. This device. Its noises are resonating in my mind. Okay, so... Okay, well, let me, uh, just keep going. Let me just turn it down for just a The device to make sure five minutes ago and they have entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. All of them are now vaguely mumbling in their sleep like they are changing Heck something. But the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs as always. I wonder if it is because of something they are actually seeing beyond. Oh, ten minutes later. As so, always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different to the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it feels almost like that fantastic device is signaling something in a code I don't recognize with an S. This is a European game. It is yeah. becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the midst of this cold, uh, dim, and incense-filled room. It sounds to me like the intensity... This is uh, now four minutes later. It sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumblings is much stronger now. Colors and shades are dancing in the walls with rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching or something even worse. 7.24 p.m. How many minutes is that? Five? Exactly five minutes, it tells me. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They've drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. I cannot do anything further except wish for their safe return. I think that's it. So there's people this making device. sleep sounds. It's noises are resonating in my mind. I gotta figure out a way to make it where it doesn't lag though, that's not... It's weird it's lagging on this game, but none of the others that I've played. Hmm. Let me just load yeah, the this okay. device. Oh. It's right, noises are resonating in my mind. This. It's too dark. It's too dark to be safe, See, I better find a light source. I haven't watched it yet, but I will, girl. You know I will. I haven't been on the gram much today. Uh, 
Go look in flowers, flowers. Weird massage chairs. Weird. What's that thing in the dish? I keep wondering. That? Yeah. That's yeah that's 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 gross. It's a yerk. Yerk slug. It's a yerk slug. The animorphs. What's this? Oh, alright, let's get out of here. Alright, door open. We're outie. Okay. We're in a hallway. It's dark AF. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Anybody, Anybody here? here? Where what is everybody? It's driving you insane, isn't it? It is, because it's... I mean, it's 2021, like... Yeah, there yeah. are people that stream their games with no problem. For one thing, the, the resolution isn't changing. I need to probably restart the game for the resolution change. So let me just go. We're lagging a bit too. I don't think it's ever changed once since I've done it. So let me just do it way back up to normal, which is up here. And let's do it to that. Okay. And let's apply. Oh, and yeah, you weren't applying changes. Oh, well, I did, but let me exit. And then we're going to quit and restart. Oh, no. Because the resolution is probably a. So much progress. No, I think it, it hopefully saved. <laughs> so. To. Play it cool. I think it might be much better. Yep. I think I fixed it. Alright, look so far. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Spoke too soon. Yeah, Caitlin, excited for it. What time is your guys' school call? The abundance of oh shit! Okay. Didn't have an opportunity. You were really ready to right, deliver that. Okay, that's better. Good job. This device. Fuck this device. Yeah, noises, noises are resonating, are resonating in, in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Where's the torch? Where's the torch go? I don't know. Like I found this in the other room. The strange device is already on my left arm when I came around inside the meeting room of the up Upwatt Antarctic base. Comes as no surprise that I don't remember anything. Hmm. This device, it's, it's noises are resonating in my mind. Oh, yeah, we left here, that's right. Yeah, we were out in the hallway. He's like, hey, is everybody here? There it is. Anybody here? here? Where I'm is everybody? <laughs> Alright, okay. Now we're looking, guys. Now we're exploring. What are we looking for? I don't know. A way out? What the fuck's going okay, on? We'll look in there. In those boxes or in those crates. There's or... nothing. I don't know. There's nothing there. Can't do anything. Why would they have boxes and crates for us to not look in? Oh. Oh, oh, it's it's it looks like we're having a power oh. problem right now. Oh, 
wonder if you have to use the fire extinguisher to, like, break the door. Maybe, yeah, sometimes you do. Stop, Stop those, those bloody sessions. sessions. <laughs> Attention for the crew members who are having sleeping problems. Examinations conducted regarding the increase of the accidents re recently happening led me to believe that the reason behind those is some kind of intense cabin fear. Symptoms for this problem are insomnia, strong headaches, seeing visions, and hearing voices. Crew members are s who suffer from the above symptoms are needed to refer to me personally, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Strong snowstorm is expected to hit for the next two weeks. It is of the utmost importance to take all the cautionary measures and inform the response personnel when going outside. Please be aware the radio connection between the bases and the ship may not be available during this period. Bases and ship. That. Am I on the ship? Not water? I think I might be on the ship. Yeah, it reminds me of a ship, like a cruise water ship. Damage. You know, that's what I like thought the hallways were. Here we go, here we go. Opening the door. Weather notice. That's bad. That's a like freezing cold weather. Am I dressed for this? Freeze out here. Successful establishment of the Upper Water Antarctic Base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Well, this is definitely a base in the Antarctic. Yes. Is that more shit on the floor? Gross. It's something. It's nasty. Is it ice? Did it freeze? Maybe I that's think what's supposed ice. to be like snow and ice tracked in. Yeah, it's ice and water that's frozen. It's gross. Why is it so, like, viscous and gross? Nice. <laughs> Shoved it open. Nice. Sometimes you just gotta shove it open. Alright, what's in this little chest? Yeah, it looks like the weather in Chicago. You're right, Caitlin. Oh, we got some tape in here? What is that? Tape? Tape and wrenches? No, wrenches I guess can't tape. Uh -huh. Why do they dangle it if you can't have it? Uh, I mean, they put it there, they just can't take it. No, I don't know. Generator or something? Generator. Gotta put fuel in it. Tank think. is empty. Yeah. Oh. Just connect to something. I gotta find fuel. Boom. Oh. Found yeah. it. Put the fuel in the can. <laughs> Took care of her. Shove her back in there. Close that under gate right there. Now we gotta start her up. Where's the starter? Here it is. What is this? Medicine? Yeah, I'm like. Oh, the medicine cabinet, it's empty. Nothing <laughs> in there. Okay, so we're gonna do what are those? Wait, maybe I gotta start it on it first. I thought there was a button under something. What is this? Maybe I gotta start it on the button. Shock Desert? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Locked. Locked. Not 
not like weather like this. Two. You could not hack it. You could not. Freezing. Not one day. rather than just skipping ahead right. and doing it. Okay, back to the starfish. starfish. Some, some stuff going on here. Or something. They're all What's green. that note say? Oh, yeah. Good eyes, Taylor. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled. Mainly from, oh, we already did it. From the outside. Okay, we so we did do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different medicine cabinet from the last Okay. One. It's a different one. I, I, could take I wonder it. if the idea is like we're not supposed to like trust our ourselves, like trust possible. our narrative. Okay, what are these little notes? It's a walkie talkie. Okay. Yeah. It'll probably randomly go off later and somebody will talk to us. Somebody will say something. This is Abuwad Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Abuwad Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Something written on them? No. You try to look through them like this? I wonder what, what's that like? Are we supposed to pay attention to what's underneath the binoculars? Like, are we supposed uh, to look at them? What's this? Ooh. Yeah, that's right. What? Can we open it? I don't know. So the theme is obviously like things we look through. Super Bowl, well, then again, it'll be fun to be raining out with Yeah, it. stay inside. That sounds brutal. Here's Chicago. Like, Midwest winters are supposed to be the worst. Alright, let's see. Alright, so, I think they originally were from the UV. Yeah, my is absolutely horrible. What's that? His coat is just right here. Where is he now? Nickel, 
Nikolai Gogol, the portrait. Oops. I'm like, there's themes going on here. I don't know what they are. I mean, there's no... I can't, like, read it or anything. I'm just like... Locked. Pencils? Nothing. Locked. Locked. What? Potatoes? No. Matryoshka dolls? Idols? Like wooden dolls. Yeah, like wooden idol dolls. Did you say potatoes? The coat is just right here. <laughs> I thought they were potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? How interesting. What a twist. Locked. It's an Irish ghost. <laughs> Locked. Are we supposed to believe that people use these lockers very recently? I guess so. What is this? The room where it happened. Yeah, you'll be staying in warm, Caitlin, watching my our streams. <laughs> Trying to explain the purpose of the expedition. Go ahead, everyone. I know we're close to what we have been looking for during. The adaptation, oh, it's 1949. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing towards the destination we seek. This could mean we're now in sync with the ancient source, whatever that is. The wearable canarium we're carrying on our left arms connects and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source. And sometimes I wonder whether there has ever been another soul during humanity's relatively brief period of existence who is able to achieve such a feat. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial, oh no, alien shit, extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through a stage of mechanized life on other planets, but its purpose remains unclear. Okay. So that's what it Some is. Some alien shit. I hate alien things. This thing right here. I don't know what you're it's supposed to be important. And we're in, yeah, 1949. Wait, didn't it say we were in June? Maybe. But it's already winter, so it's time has passed since he wrote that. Like six months was still passed. Maybe, or maybe 11. Maybe Stop. Maybe. It stopped. Hidden plants. Who's it? I'm great at it. Who are you? History and myths. Scientifically, the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, canarium. Interesting. I didn't know that. That can't be true. Um, or the epiphysis? Cerebri is a small endocrine, endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain, vertebrate brain, named after its shape, which resembles that of a pine cone. It is located in the epithalamus near the center of the brain between the two hemispheres. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a serotonin, okay, so it's the sleep thing, a serotonin-derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and seasonal cycles. But mystic traditions and philosophy ascribe it a different role. Rene Descartes regarded it as, quote, the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. And in the writings of Madame, Blavatsky? Blavatsky. It's hard to read on the bright part. Yeah. It was explained with the Hindu concept of the third eye. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that helps. Or the Anya chakra. As part of the human body not fully understood, uh, as a part of the human body not fully understood today, it holds its deep rooted place as one of the most important links between our material and the continually degrading mystic nature. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know if the pineal gland really um, is called the cranium as well. The canarium? Oh, yeah, what did I say? Cranium? cranium. <laughs> well, I just turned something on.
about those little ones? What about those ones over there? Ferguson on Facebook, or that, who is that? Oh no, Rodrigo Cesar. Rodrigo Cesar. Cesar, sorry if I mispronounced him. All right, now we're trying to get this Where one. do you see that? Middle. Oh, and it flashed on the screen. It'll, it should make oh, it okay. a second here. So now we're going to try to get the second one. Okay, so I guess you just have to mess with it until it goes where you want? Yes. There we go. I don't know. Okay. It works. Now we can open this. Or I thought we could. Yeah, I don't feel crazy. good about it. Don't talk to it's me. It's gonna talk to us. Don't talk to me. Wait. Who are you? Who are you? What are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. <laughs> Frank Gilman. <laughs> Is that so? That's cool, Kayla. Is One place for Resident Evil eventually maybe Taylor with play with me. That's another. My name is Frank Gilman, an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. This thing is claiming that it's me. That's <laughs> like, absurd. Name, Why? So, what do we say? You are claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. Where is everybody? What do you know about Dr. Faust? Oh, okay, Frank, tell me why you're here exactly. Uh, what do you think? I want to know about Dr. Faust or why he's here. What do you know about Dr. Faust? Let's ask. What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the grand mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. Okay, we know that too. Okay, why are you here exactly? Okay, Frank, tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the canaries. I read that as coronavirus, I swear. Yeah, I know. Oh, Voyagers beyond. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. Where is everybody? You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. And you are just air. Whoa! I don't like that. How rude. Air, what do you mean by that? Air? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Okay, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Where is everybody? It's nice you get a chance to ask them. They are here. They are here. I don't see anybody around. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. You found a secret. What the fuck is it? Turned off. Huh. Couldn't take it. What secret is it? What he just told us? Or is it like... I guess. In the room somewhere? Lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are.
Hobbs keys. I'll read it. You go grab the ice cream. Okay. These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he is holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes I hear his voice through the radio. It is not in a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, but for I hate the very idea of the suspension I'll probably be facing. No bueno. Creepy. third eye. As far as well as inside his hand, which I think indicates some kind of state of knowing because allusions to knowledge. And elder things occur all the time in almost every bass relief we have discovered so far. All of this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting those halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the elder Do you want things. to sit in my lap? Fable creatures of primal myth. What, what creatures inhabiting those halls? Uh-oh. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. We love you. Hello, hello. All right. Elder crap, primal mix. That's a scary thing. Yeah, that's gross. Knowledge that alien. Several other examples. Will you shine the light for me? I'm winning. Several other examples of the composite sculptures, ranging from humanoid to reptilian in shape. They are mostly damaged and generally in a really bad shape. In a really bad shape. Um, the lost parts were completed by the artist's imagination. Hmm. The abundance of five-pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we've come across cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and staring silently from above, most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. So this is like some shit my brother would, um... My brother would love it's scared. like reptilian conspiracy theories. Can you shine the light for me, please? The grotesque, mas grotesque masonry caused an uproar with the countenance it wore on its reptilian face when we first found it residing. Okay, this game has a little bit of a problem with like grammar. Residing within the almost substantial darkness <laughs> of the cave where it had been carved in eons past. Some of the crew, please shine the light, why do you keep taking it off? Some of the crew even claimed that they had heard some muffled laughing sounds coming from within it. The pine cone, it was guarding pineal gland pine cone, or hiding with its humanoid hands, has some symbols carved into it which we are yet to decipher. Cool. Ah. Ice cream and not move. I get to. Who's this? Baby! Oh. I'm a little baby worm. Look, more stuff up That's here. That's disgusting. Whose room is this? It's, um, nobody. It doesn't specify. No, it's Here's not the like photo. Here's the painting. The photo. Did you flip it around and look on the back? Slow. Supposed to be. 
Whoa. Whoops. Yeah, Michelle lagged. Oh my god, every... Lagging. Hey everybody. Or no, is it just repeating everybody's chat? I don't know what's going on. It is. I guess so. That's so weird. There was like a... This is PC. I don't know if you can play it on another platform. Also, if you guys chatted something, we might have missed it because... Sorry about that. There was just wild... Another photo. Alright, who's this guy? Supposed to be all the people that have like maybe I don't know. Mm. Okay. I am inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur. God, I just want to edit <laughs> an alien. Oh my god. No, not European. It's just poor grammar. An alien prospect in a natural disposition so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that all this became evident after the Canarium sessions had started. Even though I'm not one of the participants, I'm somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in the unconscious state into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. That is L. Ferguson. L. Ferguson's note on his dreams. Are those hands? Gloves. Oh. <laughs> what? Jeez, Warren. his room key. Maybe not. Oh no, that's this other guy's room key. Maybe. Okay, so we have to go to that guy's room. Well, Chris. Also, yes, Chris. Gloves, not hands. It looks like hands. Locked. What was a VR game? Oh, you're talking about the one with the girl in the house or whatever? Yeah. Wait, where is his... Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. subjects awoke screaming in their beds thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members when i spoke to them personally i noticed some serious deviations in their behavior patterns as time progressed i noted deep changes in their mental conditions when really pushed they clearly started to behave like someone else which led me to believe i was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder but it's too early to draw any conclusions can you with a little cursor um other subjects are not too are not 
too far a cry from their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. Their condition is getting worse day by day, and a serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions we have been having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from the outside world or we'll be able to send anybody away for a thorough medical examination, which is the only sane thing to do under these circumstances. Nice. Good job, Foreman. Okay. That's better. That'll be better for you, the TV. <clears throat> okay. Good job, Foreman. Now, what is it, Christopher? Oh, shit. Okay, so now what do I do? That didn't give us, like, what is this? Yeah, we did. So there was a book underneath his, like, letter. It's my favorite episode of Casting Couch. That's a different kind of stream. Different indeed. Only fans. Hmm. Okay. I deleted my life page today, by the way. The scientist is not the best speller. Listen, okay? do they character. have do they not have a person who comes in and like proofreads these games? Because maybe that's the my way. The character misspelled auditory. He's a scientist, um, not a spelling. But it's like if kids, are, but if kids are doing this, you know what I mean? That's true. Are fed to the main system by the primary filters. It is, is it really possible to feed the machine with an actual human brain? This is so young Frankenstein. Asking. Ancient sources speak to secretive speak too secretive about this. It's too secretively. Based on the writings of R. Bacon and Yummy. Wolfgang von Templin, <laughs> hey, I will try to improve the machine. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh. All right. That's easier. <laughs> nope, it is not how that word was ever spelled. <laughs> Maybe. After a haphazard momentary airlock expo exploration of the unholy, utterly alien cyclopean maze of square curved and angled blocks, we could detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University expedition leader, the Professor Emer Emeritus William Dyer. But what we were looking for is not there. It's inside the haunted Shugath ruins. According to various sources, it should be in the much older ruins beyond the Elder City, right on the edge of a mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over a location deeply shunned even by the elder things and built long before the colossal <coughs> city Dr. Dreyer and his team explored. Now we set foot upon lands no one has ever seen before. A vast mass of dry land around the South Pole which rose from the primal waters when the old ones seeped down from the stars. A place so evil most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it at all. Well, some murals within the elder city depicted it with obvious repugnance and trepidation. That's scary. Wait, it showed us where it's located too. So, well, outer ruins. city ruins. Cyclopean city mountains. Mountains of madness. Mountains of madness. Yep. That could be. Yeah, yeah, probably. Well, I know, Caitlin. Lots of stuff to read in this one. There's so many different games. We can try different games too. This one doesn't catch. Well, I mean, maybe, this might be a shorter game, but we should probably try to finish it. We'll probably get like an hour or two. We'll see. I don't know how long the game is supposed to be. It's not even look on the game page. Where am I supposed to go now? I don't know. Okay, so. What is this shit? Oh, Chris, 
once knew a stripper named Madness of Madness. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. I'm sure I know what that refers to. Her Mountains of Madness. Mountains gotcha. of Madness. Went straight. Went straight back here. Resonating in my mind. Remember, we saw that the whole toxic plant yes. thing. There's something in there. Antediluvian shamanism. Success. More books. How do you know if it's something? Thanks, Chris. Chris likes her teamwork. Great teamwork. <laughs> Bye, bye. That's fucking teamwork. So how do you, let me ask you a question. How do you know if it's going to be something or not? Does it like light up or indicate or something? Yeah, you tell you? A, little, a little magnifying glass pops up. What, you see how little hands right there? Yeah. Or you're like, look down to the magnifying glass. Got it. So know. that's the only way you know. I you see. interact with it. Oh, wait, wait, I see. Earlier. We, we did open there. these earlier. Oh, yeah, the compass. Do you think we can take that now? Still no? Because remember, we couldn't take the letter before, but we can now. I definitely remember that. I'm going to let you rotate it. Mm. It's not turning. It's always Where? facing north. Yeah, right. okay. That's your, that's your uh, favorite Tenacious D song? That's what you were? This device, it's, it's noisy. This device. It's noises are resonating in my mind. I don't remember the name of it. He sings it all the time, though. What's on the floor? Nothing. The box. The box. All right. I keep so saying the radio room. Paper. We were up here earlier. We, oh, shit. oh yeah, the camera and the the, uh, the binoculars. Maybe you can take those now. <coughs> Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Sam, I am. What do we have in here? The Milwaukee still. Okay. This is Frank Gilman from Upperwatt Antarctic Expedition. Just Over. Just makes me laugh that like, his name is Frank Gilman. It's so random. Nobody's listening. No Nobody is listening or answering. Let's go back outside, I guess. Oh yeah, Fucker Gently. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucker Gently. Good song. Sometimes. Good Yeah, you already did the generator thing. 
you like dig a hole in the snow and look for something? Probably not. Let's go back in here. Oh my god, I almost drank that about 11 moment. Look what Caitlin just said. Caitlin, that's exactly what I said earlier. That's so funny. Literally verbatim. Oh, I was like, this is like a digital escape room. It is. No way, yes. That's so funny. These are all green. We're already there. We are in my room. Maybe I need to do my hand right. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Try the. Yeah. <laughs> Tries everything. Yes. Okay. The bar is going up, Monica. You see it going up to the right? Yes. Peter? Not that means This it's device. Oh, it's it's noises it's are resonating in my mind. Okay, wait. So you see on the book where it's like journals, documents, secrets? Where? In the book you just held up? There's like tabs, journals, documents, secrets. Yeah. Go to secrets. Things we discovered. Um Okay, so it doesn't tell us anything else. Yeah, it's like those things we discovered earlier. <clears throat> so it sort of keeps everything for you, like, roadmap style. That we have to do something. Help, guys. Yeah, is anybody <laughs> play this game? Help us. So then we'll or give your play. ideas to something. I don't think I can or would want to escape room because I have too many different rooms to escape room. I did one, it was a haunted house escape room. It was really interesting. It feels like so long ago because COVID elementary took me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's um, Ellen's best friend from high school, Robert, who helps run it, and it's really fucking cool. Infirmary. Right, we have not come this way. <laughs> Stop. I support that, you guys. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Is it a flashlight? Oh, as well. Smells it's awful in here. Yeah. There's that body here. Uh, it's the food that's rotten. Yeah, no, it's rotten because it's disgusting. Yummy. Uh, that. No, that looks like brownies, kind of. <clears throat> um, I'm curious about what's in the infirmary. Did you see that when we first yeah. came in? Yeah, we'll go back and check. Yeah, because that's where all the sick people are, probably. Oh, you want to go see all the dead stuff? Want to see the dead stuff? You, you're, you enjoy a Resident Evil game. Infirmary or the morgue. It's the scariest place to go. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's go to the morgue. The morgue. Ah, uh, boring. What's this? John. <clears throat> Statement of consent. That's actually kind of funny. That they have like. Okay, so by signing this document, you're agreeing to the terms written below. False statements made knowingly or willfully, including affidavits or other supporting documents submitted therewith, may be punishable. <clears throat> I hereby declare that I consent to perform my daily duties to the best of my ability, listen to the judgment and of the expedition leader, Dr. Faust, and participate in a series of medical ses sessions as needed at the Upwat Antarctic base. The risks of participating in the aforementioned medical sessions have been fully explained to me. Any questions I have regarding the procedure, why it is necessary, its benefits and risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my informed consent. That's so funny that they have like an informed consent blurb. To the performance of the procedure by signing the statement of consent. And who signed it? Consent. Yeah. All right. So now, what's over here? Psychoactive so plants. So how to okay. the virtual lab. Remember that we saw that on the blackboard yes. inside. Yes. Stethoscope. What's in the drawers? Gloves. Hands. <laughs> All the members awaken without any problem. Except for Frank Gilman. That's All of a sudden, awesome. his heart ceased beating at around 1.45 a.m. Oh my god, you might be right. He's, He's extremely cold, cold, and there was no detectable pulse. While I was preparing to perform cardiac compression, he, moment, he momentarily opened his eyes. I'm unsure how much time passed since his heart failed to beat, but it can't happen more than five minutes. And then came the event that shook us all. <laughs> the cause was the very words Frank uttered directly to Dr. Faust right after he awakened. I don't know how to explain it because his voice was muffled and almost indis indiscernible, but I'm convinced that the voice I heard did not belong to Frank. As a medical doctor, I can say that this is not completely impossible for someone in this condition, but there was something wrong with what I heard. It was a sound that no human vocal cords could produce! Exclamation point! 
Why would you never do an escape room with me, Chris? Because you get left behind. <laughs> you did a, uh, you did a, an escape room for yeah. a convention. That's fun. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. That was what fun. a weird town. I don't know. I don't necessarily know that, that I would want to be trapped in an escape room with people I didn't know. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> All right, we're going into the infirmary stuff here. Can't take anything. Boring. He's so competitive. <laughs> That's so true. Holy smash is going to make sure he wins. So true. Yeah, you're probably asking. Well, go there. Break the lock. So sir, sir, you can't do that. Sir, you can't go in there. Sir, you can't break the door down. Oh, we, did we already come there? Yeah, I think we were already in there. How about we get back to where we were? I wanted to go Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, okay, so here we are. It's stuck. It's a lot of stuff. Me too, Chris. Me too. <laughs> like, next level. It won't open. It's stuck. Right. Um. We were in there. You were in there. I smelled that in there. What is that? What's in there? That's something. Something in a little chest. How do we get Monopoly with that guy? No, but I've heard. Oh, I've heard tell of the Monopoly raging. I'm, Everybody yeah. rages on me because they lose. I'm Locked. not doing it. Locked. I'm not doing it. We almost, we got close, but we forgot the uh, board games of storage. We had to go get them. So these things. Okay. And then, what is this? Uh-oh. Okay, we're getting Just to don't. Yeah, I'll, I'll spare myself. I'd like to continue the relationship, so I probably shouldn't. Elevator. <laughs> You're a little tiny werewolf. Yeah, little baby you girl. Are. Good thing we already read this. Is it gonna like blink it off the screen? Yeah, the it's like the grotesque masonry thing. Yes. With the weird human hands. Yes. You'll regret it and we'll feel sad. All right, Chris. I won't do it. You're not. I'm never playing it off. Oh no. I'll play this one. Yes, Michelle, definitely. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. This is pretty cool. It's quiet. <laughs> I'm also fairly competitive, but not about things that don't matter, like board games. <laughs> but like life stuff, I'm also a crazy person. Of course she's not here. Just the fake. Oh, the chai worm! Caitlin, the chai worm was with my sister and her fiance, like actually something. up north at my parents' house. She's on a little worm vacay. She'd be in a worm. She's gonna go um, tend to my parents who still have COVID. She's such a good worm. She's a baby oh, girl. I never so much. She's my little girl. What's she doodly? She's my little daughter. Doodly dog. All right, what's that? We're More letters. Around. We're circling this thing. Okay. What is this? It's stuck. It's stuck. Sexual. On my stream last night, he was like talking to Stevie to the cats, and he's like, You are such a beautiful baby. It's like, You're so sexual with your cats. No. It wasn't like that at all. It was exactly like that. No. Oh, that's what it was like. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so. <laughs> Michelle says, Ew. What are those? Mushrooms. Yummy, let's eat them. Okay, what is this machine? I don't trust a random mushroom. I need a polygraph she is a cutie pie. She is such a darling. Uh, She's doodly. Just stuff there. Can't do anything with that. That drives me nuts. Like, why show me the stuff if I can't touch it? Locked. Okay, I need something to get it over here. Okay, what's next? Can we go here? Uh, 
Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Can we go in this one? Oh, see, yeah, it was guest room, question mark. We'd, all we could see was finished guests, but I know her. Okay, gotcha. I know her thought processes. <laughs> this game is not scary, because you're right, it's nothing not, has yeah, happened. Yeah, I have to move on from this one tonight. It's kind of a cool story, but it's slow burn. Are you moving? No, we're not moving. We're just basically trying to convert the guest room into, like, a music streaming chase space. No, oh, it's not just that. It's for both of us. And it's that's where my clothes are. Music, too. Um, Caitlin, she really wants to play with, um, Stevie, and Stevie's not interested, and then Tobias attacks her on the, on the daily. It's sad. They don't get along really at all. Poor worm. She's just, she's hard to get along with. Very strange. Alright, we gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. That's the plan. It'll be a, a creative area slash filled with all of my stuff from my previous apartment because I have way too much shit. We need a bigger place. There it is. What's that? Polygraph cylinder. Oh. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. Cause of death is currently uncertain, but judging yeah, by the accumulation of a mass of green substances found in the mouth and throat area, Dr. Barlow, our, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, greenish clumps that look like pollen. Belonging to the yeah, living we got rid of my bed and we put the pull-out couch in, which is kind of depressing. Yeah, so you know, you don't necessarily plug the bed, but if not, it, you can fold it up and there's more space. Dr. There's a streaming area and the salt tape area, and they don't interact or hurt or sex, so that way you don't have to break one down and lose the other. Yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna... Or you can, you know, make a bigger area, a bigger streaming area, or a bigger... Who knows? You know, it'll, it'll allow freedom. You know what I mean? I mean, I like I'm gonna get a big, big green screen curtain, hang it where I used to hang the great gray curtain, I can use that as a green screen, and then when I project shit, I can, I can Wait, put something Wait, use what? Behind. Use what as a green screen? Order a green curtain, hang it like temporarily when I want to use it. Like hang I hang it, the, hang it where? Is on the is wall it? here, like I hang that the gray, gray curtain. wall. Correct. And then that's a green screen, maybe. I don't know. Or on the lofty, wall. Lofty, my friend. And then the green screen behind you, you can put all kinds of shit behind you. Lofty. Oh, Chris, I need to share the uh, email <laughs> with you. <laughs> so about Robert. He deserves it. Oh, I know who he's talking about. Okay. Should have made him sleep on the floor every single time. I gotta share the email I'll have I've written for him, Chris. Uh, excuse me, who wrote, who wrote it? <laughs> Taylor helped me Im immensely. Took a lot of my notes and basically organized them all into this beautiful, well-written email. Yeah, a little creative area. Definitely, that's a good way to put it. It's exactly what it is. Out, I Studio. Can, you know what? Maybe I can put my makeup on that collapsible. Yes, desk. I thought about that too. The only thing is, we'll have to make we'll have to make a deal. That after you're finished using the makeup, you have to clean it up because then I'll come in there the next day and there'll be makeup all over the place. I don't know if I can commit to that. You'll have to just do something. Like that. I don't know if I. You'll have I to have a like surface that. like one of those that you leave oh, yeah, it in I'll there. Have these. I'll have one of these. You order another one. Of, order another one of those. <laughs> order another. What do I search so for? So you put it all in there and then when you're done, you just pick it up and take it off with you. But it's what do I search for? Uh, look for a bed and breakfast tray. Is that what it's called? Yes, it's a bed and breakfast tray. How come I can't have that one? Because I, I, I use that in here. If you need another, we'll get another. <laughs> I'll try to fit it to you. I haven't even been paying attention to the game, really. I don't, yeah. want, to, I don't want to be wandering out. I don't want to go back. Oh, wait. I love that, so, that people actually care about our, like, guest bedroom conversion. <laughs> I feel seen. Security measures. We need to find the, the fucking bar thing for that so that we can use the elevator. Right, right. Yeah, a makeup tray, Michelle. No, she yeah, needs a right. giant thing. I have a lot because they There is that, that giant Lazy Susan in there. No, it needs to be something with a, um, like, like a lip. Yeah. If you get a replacement for that, you should take that one. I need a lip for my lip. Wow. Do the dowel. Well, this is the other one. Do the dowel. Do the dowel. We've been saying doodly dog. Doodly dog. Like that all fucking day long. Doodly dog. Doodly dog. This game is starting to bore me. Uh, I'm, I'm getting bored. Well. Like, yeah, I've been bored. Yes. Uh, Alright, well, lots of shit. 
I also don't have like the greatest attention span for this kind of stuff. Nice. Well, yeah, when, once you come visit, it'll probably be... Uh, <laughs> I'm personally connected with writing music in that house. It'll probably be finished. Yes. I'll show you. The room looks very different. It's so girly now because it literally... I just transferred my bedroom from my previous apartment because I didn't like want to let go, go of it yet, like sentimentally speaking. So we got rid of the bed, but everything else, it's like teal and fucking sparkly and how it ought to be. Um, I mean, the game is... I think you have to, like, you, you need to be, like, real patient. The game is... I mean, the camera bigger, as you can see now. We're live on that. The game is, uh, okay. I mean, it's, like, it's a slow burn game. I don't know. Even when high, Chris. I question... Uh, Caitlin, I used to also, okay, I used to be allergic to cats, and then I moved in here, and it took like three months, but I basically just got used to it. It was rough. It was a rough experience, getting used to the, to the cat dander, but I did, and now I don't have to take like Benadryl or anything anymore. Alright, so what now? Uh, give me two seconds. Adding that. Adding this. The best part is this music. So anyways, guys, yeah, sorry about that. We'll look for another game the next time. We'll try it. We'll keep trying. I was, it was a fun little chat session. A good little strawberry ice cream while those. Um, the whatever. Tillamook kind, it's so good. You know, we'll, we'll keep trying different games and different things. We're also going to be doing different stuff. Like, we've talked about, I bet we could, like, watch, do little watch parties. Like, watch a show or watch a film fun. or something and then just watch it with people. That'd be fun. You know, and we could also. Uh, can comment and stuff. We could have, like, reactions. We've talked about we've been doing reactions to things. Chase Chris wants to, to play Among videos. Us. Yeah, oh, yeah, Chris, we, we can. Yes, we can, Chris. I, I played that the other day. I'm down. Let's do it. Let's schedule it. We're going to play Green Hell, me and Chris, and probably Jake. And Is it going to be you, me, and Jake, Chris? We're going to play Green Hell this Thursday, right? Green Hell is a survival game like The Forest. Music stream, yeah. Yes, we'll be music streaming. I'm going to for... music stream this weekend, but I'm going to get another in before then. Tomorrow, I'm going to get back in the room. I haven't done any streaming yet for music because... I haven't reset my music shit up because I've been trying to... I want to get the room ready. The room. Yeah, I want to get the room ready. So. Just you guys. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Day Jake's night. not going to play? What? Jake doesn't have the game? Jake doesn't have the game, Chris? He's just pretty decent. This is more for, like, killing people and shit and doing game. Let's <laughs> oh, yeah. see the next thing. This is a good one. I love that you already know. This particular, uh, well, this particular, whatever this sim the symbol is for his his logo for his artist, mm -hmm. like, he has other good songs, so I know he's going to be probably pretty decent. All right, Caitlin, good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, well, why? It's fucking $19, isn't it? He spends more money on weed. So tell do you. Me, dude, tell him. I know. <laughs> I have the game. It's on sale. Tell him to get it, Chris, because, come on, right? Three is better than two. Look That's your philosophy on a lot of look things. Look at this baby girl. Look at this beautiful. Look at this baby. Look at this worm. Look at this little tiny baby worm. Anyway, see, I, I like that I have a little, what you call intermission. See, they can see the chat on the right. Can you see it? Where where can Probably. they see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it bit bigger here. I know, it's hard to see. I mean, I can't see anything. I could actually just bring this down here now since we're not playing anything. I cannot do, oh, I see. Wait, yeah, I I'll can't do it. edibles. I had a bad experience with Chase and his mom in see, Louisiana. better? Look, I can even do this now. Okay, yeah. Have a good night, Caitlin. Good night, Caitlin. See there? Yeah, that's what people say. Yes. Interesting. Hmm. That's what people see. They can also see our new mail holder. Oh, they can. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to see... <laughs> Trying to see uh, if I could just make this bigger. Do, 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 do. 
I think that might be the way it should go. Canvas size, I think a little bit more. Create output, create stream, lock, unlock, performance. I think that's what I'm gonna get. I can do this one. And there you go. I mean, I like that I can create this thing. This is like when you want to just talk and chat. And everybody else can just see the chat right up on the screen here in front of us, you know? Mm, well, yeah. Rather than the normal. You're so, yours is so like themed out. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it is cool. It's I very like it you. Too. Is it really me? Neon 80s palm trees. Chris likes this yes. shit too. This, Chris is all about it. Yeah, you and your, you and your like 80s fixation that you have. Anyways, I guess we'll, we should just go ahead and have it's 1021. We'll watch some something, whatever little Taylor wants to watch. Watch Jeopardy. Yeah, well, we well, haven't watched play, the last two we nights. We watch a player a little nightly Jeopardy. Gotta play the nightly Jeopardy. Yeah, I know. I knew Chris would like it. Yeah, I know. It's cool. I like it a lot too. It's, there's a lot of different themes like this in OBS. Um, bro. And then. I want to know where what? Where you had it? Something. I, I don't know where something. you had it made. Where you had what made? This theme I'm using? This background? This theme is actually a part of OBS software. You can go, they have like hundreds of different themes. You can go look online and stuff. But uh, most of these you have to actually purchase the premium version, which I got it for $100 for the whole year. So, you know, I'm investing a whole year in streaming. I think it's well worth your money. I'll probably make that back in a year, if not way more. I, I would hope by the by the year. By that point, I hope oh. it monetarily is well. It's like if it works, it's gonna be like stage it soon. I'm gonna start doing content on here too. People are gonna no, eventually I'm gonna qualify. Good. People are gonna start just tipping through here. I think that's good. But we'll see. We'll see. Like anything, you have to put in time, effort, energy. Well, hours. Chris, you had you you had your uh, avatars and your logos made, which is still really cool. Cause you can put those like on your page and stuff and like on your panels and all that stuff but when it comes to like this stuff behind it all this shit this is like pretty easy OBS will kind of just do it set it set up for you almost there's a little tweaking you gotta do you gotta move shit around and if you want to like I had to kind of create this intermission thing in a way but uh yeah it's pretty cool like, it's fun yeah it is it's very uh, neon pink blue yeah, purple neon signs driving down the strip loves him some neon signs we have several in the house. All right, anyways, we're going to hop off, guys. Thanks so much for hanging. Uh, check out the schedule. It's below. On, if you're watching on Twitch, it's below. Go subscribe to it. Uh, you can get updates every time uh, something is scheduled or anything's coming up. Also, check out the Taylor schedule on Taylor Murphy Sinclair. Uh, I have to make a schedule in order for yeah, you to check it out. She has to post eventually. Some on there. Pretty soon, one more thing before we hop off. I created, I created the stream schedule. I have to stream on like I think maybe three or four if not probably three or four more days and then I become affiliate. Once I become affiliate. I thought it was supposed to be like seven days. That's going to be one I've already done. Seven days. It's okay. seven days total. I've already done three or four of those days I believe. This is I think day or four or five. Really? I feel like you've done three. So no. Not not in total. I not have no week straight of streaming. You know I haven't done no, that. I've yeah, skipped a couple of days. Time is I haven't streamed two or three days out of this time I've been streaming. So it's about it's been five or six days, four or five days I think okay. of, of streaming. Anyways, because if I stream twice in one day, it doesn't count. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I got it. Okay. If you stream twice in one day, it's not gonna count. It's just got it. per day. I see. But I it did count for the hours. It was like I think eight hours, and then I hit that. Got, oh right, right, right. It was okay. eight hours. So one there's different. So all I have, I think, is three days. Then I'm affiliate. It's gonna unlock some stuff for me. Then you guys can start subscribing. And then once I reach partner, I can add a team, a stream team or a stream squad. And then with the stream squad, I don't know if those people have to be affiliate or partner, but hopefully I can add Taylor and Chris when you're ready. I can add uh, you too or whoever else, Rachel. But I'll add Taylor and then Taylor can join my stream from her stream. So then we can have two streams Fancy. running. That's what we want to do. So we have both of our streams going at the same time. People can find her and find me. And she'll have her own little box. So I can put like her own little box on the screen of her own oh, stream. Cool. We can see hers on mine. So, and you can see mine on yours. And vice you can, versa. Yeah, exactly. Some of the Instagram thing, you know, you're doing people's Instagram thing. I did not know you could do that. In Instagram Live, you can. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Uh, Good night. I have a couple more days, I'll get affiliate, and then we'll be on our way. And you guys are awesome, and I love you all. Thank you so much.
Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Uh, I'm going to go up Bye. one soon, ending soon, and transitioning out.